breast cancer survivor, and two years ago I started Humor Beats Cancer. And, yeah. and it's, a, it's a 501c3 nonprofit, and the idea is to bring joy and humor to those going through cancer. Um, it gave me an opportunity to look back, which I hadn't really been doing lately because it still kind of stings sometimes, but it's just, I don't know, it's just a wonderful opportunity and I appreciate the opportunity and the community that you offer all of us. Hey Humor Beats Cancer, I just wanted to say thank you for supporting cancer patients and giving us a safe place to share our stories and laugh at the awkward parts and continue supporting each other in our journeys. We all know that laughter is the best medicine, so thank you for this prescription. all over the world who are reading us and contributing. Um, I also send care packages to those going through um, a tough time in their cancer journey. were messaging me they're like oh my gosh I had no idea I had no idea I had no idea and well it's a good thing that you're laughing about this yeah, that's kind of how I looked at it and and why I started Humor Beats Cancer is that there's got to be some way to get through it in a way where you don't have to lose your joy in some you know in, in your, your joy in life I guess I mean that was kind of the reason I created it is someone who is a survivor herself. Um, so by her building this community and using humor as a way to get people that are going through this similar trauma, you know, through this trauma, um, it's, it's incredible. Thank you for providing a community that we can share funny stories and not feel like we're alone in making this process humorous. <laughs> I was ecstatic when I found your Instagram. Um, Good. It was just, it felt like there was so many people out there, especially during a pandemic, you know, we can't go to support groups and stuff. So uh, your your Instagram was a way to find um, and share stories with people. So thank you for that. Oh my God.